Hi. Uh, please Hi. introduce yourself. Uh, this is Chen Chen, the CEO of Sanflux Inc. And uh, when I turn my camera down here, I see, are those micro displays? Yes, those are the 0.39 inch micro displays. Uh, so what's special about these? You so, have green, the red, and the blue? Yes, and the red one is using our MPQD technology, which stands for nano cores with quantum dots, where we convert this display, it's originally a blue display, into a red one using our MPQD. Basically, it's a quantum dot micro display. But when I have my micro displays, I like to have them full color. Yes. Are you able to do full color by combining them somehow? Yes, as you can see here, we're actually rolling out the full color version uh, later this year. Right now, we have the 6.4 micrometer RGB version that is in development, and we'll soon have the 3.75 micrometer pitch that's more for AR application come out from pro probably Q3 of this year. So from micro display, we go to mega display. What yes. is this display you're showing here? Um, so this is a 162 inch 4K QLED display, as you can see here. It's the first one that's equipped with our, what we call the QD in-chip micro ED, where we have the quantum dot directly inside the micro ED chip. Before, when people do QLED, it's always a quantum dot uh, film with LCD technology. But right now, with our MPQD technology, we were able to put the QD inside these mini or micro LED chips. There are thousands, thousands of the chips inside here. And then transfer that to the display where the light now is directly emitted from the quantum dot. So. As you can see here, all this display, um, the red chip is made from the MPQD uh, micro ED chip, and it has wider viewing angle and uh, better uniformity compared with the traditional red LED. And also it has a, a wider color gamut um, thanks to the quantum dots. And the main breakthrough here is that this display has qualified for over 2,000 hour, uh, 2, 2, hours reliability testing will lead up at 600 nits and also pass the 500 hours 6090 reliability testing. So this is the first what we call the direct emitting QLED display that is qualified on the market and it's open for sale. 162 inch 4K QLED display. Yeah, direct so emitting QLED display. Over there I see you said uh, QD in chip. Yes. Micro LED. Yes. So basically, it's a micro so it's a LED. Micro LED, QLED, everything. Yes. So this is the next generation where the quantum dots is directly in the micro LED, and we make the display with these QD micro LEDs. Nice. First in the world. First in the world. And is it expensive? Um, How would you get to mass co co uh, mass production? So for these chips and this display, it's already on the market. We have a uh, fabrication line that can produce millions of these chips to the customer every year. And our production line has already passed the ISO 9000 qualification. So as, a, as we're speaking, this product is going on the market. So this is already in the production. And for the AR product, we plan to roll out the first version from Q3 this year and then start to ramp over there. So uh, it's already on the market. So when you say millions of them are you talking about the whole no, display the, the or chips. only each the because chips. one display is eight million chips yes because right so now how many how many right now displays our capacity you can is at about 400 kk basically 400 million per month and by the end of this year we should double this number to 800 million per month of the chip production so, so with the so that's 800 million, displays per month Pretty much. Uh, oh no, for 1, 1,000 displays. Yeah, for for 2K, for 2K, if 400 million, um, you are looking at basically 400 displays, uh, 200 displays per month. Per month, like yeah. big like this. Big like this. Who's going to be the customer? Because I want one in a home, so but I'm not sure my 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 wall is high enough. <laughs> so we have the smaller version with uh, this is P.9, so basically 0.9 uh, millimeter pitch. We have the 
the one that has 2K resolution, smaller size, about 120 inch. This is 160 inch, right? So that's at a uh, cheaper price and smaller size. So Layard is uh, um, our partner producing the display and we have some other partners we work with as well. Is it possible to make it disappear each of the blocks? Yes, so you could. Are you nearly disappearing or you can improve that even further? Um, you will see, you see the black um, area, right? It's actually very dark and when it turns black, it's you, you almost see um, a pure darkness because we do have some technology to make sure we have very high contrast right here. You see the black, right? All right. Uh, <coughs> you see, you see the pure black, right? Yeah. <coughs> so, how good is your black levels? Um, I, think, I don't have the exact number, but I think it's very high. Because this is a micro ED, you can just turn on and turn off the chips right next to each other. Nice. Yeah. Um, all right. And just to get an idea, um, do you, do you sh your company is doing a lot of things that are shipping? Sure. Or are you also doing a lot of things that are future? Yes. Uh, well, we're doing both. Um, in the meantime, while we're working on the large displays and jack up the production, we're also doing this AR display for the for the future, basically, and which we think going to bring the high efficiency red and also the we call it RGB in one or the monolithic uh, full color version to the market later this year. Cool. How how bright did they get the um, micro so the micro displays? For the red one. We have some number here. We tested the array at two micrometer size. It can go to about one million nits on the red. That's pretty bright. It is. And the other ones? The blue and green are apparently pretty high because we're using the original uh, gallium nitride for begin. The green, you can get to two, three million nits easily. And I think on blue, it's similar to red. So I see three displays here, mm -hmm. and to bring them all into one single display, are you going to lose brightness or resolution, or what, are you going to lose something? Uh, in general, people use combiner to do this, right? So, But when they use optical combiner, more or less, they will lose a little bit, but not much. But when you're coupling that into AR glass, there is some loss um, over there from the waveguide. So all for right. our end, from a light engine perspective, we just try to give a brighter display to the market. Cool. Where are you based? Uh, our headquarters is in San Diego. And you have a big team? Yes. Uh, well, in US, not that big, but overall we have over 100 people. We have uh, the production base in China. We have a large uh, production team Shenzhen? in Xi'an. Xi in Xi'an, in the middle of China. All right. Where a lot of history is there. Nice. That's where all these uh, terracotta warriors are? Yes. And they, they were working on Display Factory 8,000 years ago? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> That's Somebody how we inherited that all that. <laughs> all right. Cool. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account. And there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to 10 times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to 10 times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool. And I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching.